Hey everybody, hope you all are doing good. And for today's show, I wanted to address one of the questions I had from one of my subscribers about, they had a question, it's like, um, when do you choose uh, crankbaits over jerk baits in the pre-spawn? Uh, and this is a really good question because um, there's there's not a real definitive answer to that question, but there are some things that you can consider that, that will really help you make that choice. First of all, um, when you're when you're talking about the pre-spawn and that transition from like winter fishing into like the true tree true spawn um you're dealing most of the time with water temperatures rising from the 40s into the 50s and that's what you and that that transition uh not only the water temperatures rising but the longer daylight hours are the things that signal the pre-spawn and that depends on what part of the country you're, that you're in um, you know, obviously when you're talking about, uh, you know, the Southern tier states, uh, you're talking about the first part of the year, January, February, and as you move farther North, that gradually backs off a little bit. Like for example, uh, you know, here in Missouri, where I live, Southwest Missouri, uh, the true pre-spawn, uh, you know, is sort of like, uh, in March sometime during that period. And, you know, obviously if you go even further up North, uh, you know, the pre-spawn up there can be as late as May. So it's all relative, you know, to, you know, the, the geographical area that you're in. But one of the things you have to realize here is that um, this transition, like I said, can happen pretty subtly. And a lot of times both things are working, both crankbaits and jerkbaits are working at the same time. But there comes a point where as far as producing quality and quantities of fish, that that one start, sort of starts to transition. And there's a couple of different things I like to keep in mind here. First of all, when that water temperature is in the like the, the 40s, any, anywhere from 40 to upper 40s, around 50 degrees, I'm really using a jerkbait a lot more, particularly if you have water visibilities that are, say, greater than two and a half feet. I mean, that's, that's, that's when the jerkbait is really gonna shine over the crankbait. Once that water temperature starts rising up into the low 50s, that's when you start seeing the the biggest movement of the year of quality fish, like those three to five pound bass that'll move shallow and get catchable better than any other time of year. That's why March is one of the best times of the year to catch a big bag of fish, is that because you have a lot of those big pre-spawn females that are up shallow and feeding. And a crankbait that time of year, once those fish get shallow like that, and that water temperature gets you know low, low to mid 50s, you can really clean up on that crankbait. And the jerkbait can still work at the same time because not all the fish in a lake are doing the same thing at the same time. Because say for example, I'll use Table Rock for example, where I fish a lot down here. Um, you can say you're in, it's mid-March and it, at Table Rock and the water temps are starting to, to warm up into the low 50s and you're hearing a lot of guys catching fish cranking shallow on crawfish colored crankbaits, but there's always something going on with the jerkbait at the same time, maybe on a different part of the lake. So you can sort of use these in combination with the two. But for me, um, that transition is all marked, is, is all totally dependent up, up here again upon uh, water temperature. Um, some other factors that play a role in that is the weather conditions. Um, when you have days that have like a, say, a strong southerly wind and you got a, you know, pretty stable weather pattern running, you know, and that type of thing, you're, the jerk baits usually always going to be working better. Um, when you have some days like, you know, for example, say a front pushes through and you get one of those real cold pre-spawn days, say it's been up and, you know, see, unseasonably warm and that water temperature is warm enough, then you have this real hard cold front comes through and it can actually get down maybe close to freezing even in March, that's when a lot of times a crankbait will trigger that reaction strike a little bit better, particularly when you're fishing it around some type of shallow cover. So the best thing to remember, like I said, to keep it simple is two, two things to remember. Number one, or actually three things, two things to remember, three things is that jerk baits and crankbaits are working together at the same time during the pre-spawn. Once that water temperature starts rising into the to the low to mid 50s, start making your transition more into crankbaits because those bigger fish that are in that four foot and shallower zone, a lot of times will react a little bit better to a crankbait. Um, and like I said, keep an eye on the weather, you know, as far as, you know, the stability and the weather patterns coming up. And um, that'll add up to a lot more fish. But, you know, really that, th that time of year is, is, 
my favorite time to fish a lot of times in in the sense that it's just so wide open as far as where you can go and catch the fish. I mean, you might be able to go down on the lower end of the lake and catch a really good bag of fish on a jerk bait, and you might be able to go like in the mid lake area or on the upper end of the lake the same day and catch a good bag shallow cranking. So it's the time of year everybody loves to fish. The big fish are up shallow, and it's just it's a really good time to be out. So. Anyway, appreciate the question. Feel free, uh, y'all, to send me questions. I love helping out and just sharing whatever information that I can with you uh, to maybe help you catch a few more fish. And I really appreciate you tuning into the channel, and we'll talk to you later.